Five Below has some really cute stuff right now. And I've been a Five Below lover for a long time. My location doesn't always have the cutest stuff. However, I was near a different location and they had like almost everything that I wanted. I'm going through it. I have not been okay, like at all. Um, I needed, I need a sprinkle of serotonin, you know, a little dash of dopamine. And shopping does that for me. But I really just, I don't need clothes. I don't need jewelry. I don't need bags. Like I just don't need any of the usual stuff that I find to buy. But there's always a little room for some home decor stuff. And that is exactly what I found. Plus a couple little extra things. So I'm gonna show you what I got. If you don't know, you about to know. My downstairs is like, it's still very like pink and cute, but it's definitely more of like, has more vintage-y elements, a couple of like mid-century modern elements, kind of 70s, but it just kind of has like a, a different vibe than my upstairs, which is just very like, my room is goth princess, my kitchen is full just Hello Kitty explosion. So when I'm shopping for my house, I'm kind of always like grabbing different kinds of stuff. And since my downstairs is like one big room and it took me so long to kind of like get get the vibe going that I was really going for, I was so excited to find a couple of these things because it really helps like continue to complete what I'm going for, you know? I think my glasses are dirty again. I swear, I clean my glasses like at least 10 times a day. I use the cloths, I use the wet wipes, like I do it all. So I don't know how they continue to be so dirty. Okay, let's start with the downstairs first. So like I said, I have a couple of like vintage elements down there, like old Playboy covers. I have like a lava lamp, neon sign. I don't know, it's like, I'm, I don't go for like one particular thing, but I felt like this kind of fit in with that really well. Like I have a floor mat that says like, does it say lucky you? And it has like a playing card. So I've been looking for more like, I specifically was looking for dice, like dice decor. So when I saw they had these, I was like, oh, that's perfect, especially because I'm looking for some replacement pillows for my couch. I'm gonna show you how everything looks in my house also, but let me just show you instead of continuing to yap. So look at these dice pillows. How cute are these? They're like a soft Sherpa material. Um, I ended up getting four because I didn't know if I wanted one on each couch or two on each couch, but I ended up going with just one on each couch, but I'm glad I got the backups because this Sherpa material can get like nasty pretty quickly. So I got a white one and a black one. And those are so cute just as like little throw pillows on my couch. And it ties in perfectly with this vase. Okay, we're back, had to turn my AC off because it's loud. But so a few years ago, my dad had gotten me this cute little bouquet flower arrangement in a tiny little gold vase and I loved how it looked as it continued to dry it went really well with my downstairs just the wall color and I don't know it just looked really pretty so I just I've just kept it as a dried arrangement but this vase it just it ties everything together so perfectly I actually have a smaller one that I got on Amazon that was triple the price of how much it was at five below I think everything was 555 but I kept the little one too because if I ever get like you know maybe like a single flower or something, I can put it in there and then I'll have the mummy and the baby. But yeah, this is cool because it's like an ivory color, but it has an like iridescent like finish over it. So when you look at it in certain lights, it reflects rainbow colors, which is really cool. So yeah, I got lucky with the dice stuff, pun intended, pun intended. And this is how everything looks all together downstairs. If you saw like the whole room, like when you walk in, it just, it's such a vibe with like my big mirror and everything. It's just, it's so nice. So happy with the way it all like finally started coming together. My little gallery wall that I've filmed in front of before, it's just, just finally, finally feels right. So I already have like so much more decor in my kitchen than I have like anywhere else upstairs, especially with seasonal stuff. Like there's just so much cute Hello Kitty stuff. And every time I see something that's like pink and goes with my kitchen, I need to get it. However, I did get stuff for my kitchen that is not Hello Kitty, which I like because I'm trying to keep it in check a little bit, you know? But it's still like super cutesy and goes with the vibe. I saw these, you know those like frosted sugar cookies at the grocery store, like the pink icing and the sprinkles? They have them in a pillow. 
they have them in a pillow. So I use these almost as like cushions on my kitchen chairs and they look so cute there. I got two of them. One for each chair now because like these are also that Sherpa material. They're already trying, they're already starting to like, like ball up. You know how that happens with this fabric? So I wish I got backups of these. If I end up near five below again soon, I might pop in to try and get some backups. My parents have a basement at their house. I don't, but they are nice enough to help me store um, stuff. My like seasonal decor, my extra flow um, in their basement because they have plenty of extra room. So sometimes, sometimes I get some backups. I do keep stuff in my attic, but it's like so dangerous trying to get stuff out of my attic by myself, like climbing up those stairs. It's so hot, everything's so heavy. I only have one working wrist on a good day. So otherwise I don't have a lot of storage in my house, but bless up to the fam. Also, they have some really cute little trinket jars. They have like a croissant. I always feel funny trying to like say, cause people are like, oh, it's a croissant, but it's like, it's croissant, <laughs> but I always feel so silly saying it. But yeah, they have cute little croissant trinket jars and ooh, it's loud, it's loud. Let me put it down while I'm talking. Really cute little trinket jars, like, um, like pen holder type situations. I don't know, things that you can kind of use for whatever you want, just little like trinket stash containers. And I've always loved the fake cake vibe. I have a little Hello Kitty um, herb grinder that looks like a fake cake on my little station in my kitchen. And this kind of just goes with it super well. I'm gonna show you like what I can of my current little little kitchen station area. Again, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that just like ha likes to have a lot of stuff like sitting around. So I had to kind of find a purpose for this, but I put all my pink cones in it. So it now has its purpose on my station and it just looks so cute. I love the, like the fake cake aesthetic. And this is like the cheapest one that I've found. Oh, distributed in Philly, okay. Shout out Philly. And yeah, I, d I don't need to say too much. Adorable trinket jar. They have, they have a few different kinds. And now for some extra stuff that's not home decor. Long story short, I went in cause I needed some phone accessories. I needed to get like an emergency screen protector, phone case, like chargers and stuff. Cause I like last, minute had to get a new phone and had to run and like get stuff for it before work and that's just always like my go-to place to get something like quick easy and cheap in the meantime but of course i was sucked in because when i went they had really cute totes the woman working at checkout said they had strawberry ones also recently that sold out really quick but i love the pink heart cherry tote this is so cute and i i've been looking for more totes like this because i only have one that has the long strap and like the shoulder straps. I like having the option of both because most of the time I'm using these is because I have a bunch of stuff in my hands that I can't carry. So I like need to throw some stuff in a bag. So sometimes I'll have like a purse on my shoulder and then like something else on this shoulder or whatever. So sometimes it's good to just be able to wrap it around your body. And it's a decent sized tote. It has a little um, pocket on the inside too, which you could probably throw like a wallet in or something like that. It's a little too close to the top for me where I'd be scared that something would fall out, but it's nice that it has a pocket. You rarely see with a tote with a pocket. Mostly, it's just cute and it's inexpensive and we love to see it, okay? Now, that being said, also, when I was in the checkout line, I guess this technically is for my home, right? Hello Kitty paper plates. Now, I almost never, ever, ever use paper plates because it's wasteful. If I do, I have the, um, the ones that are made out of like recycled paper. And the only time I'll use them is if I'm like super, like super sick and can't even like fathom <laughs> the thought of doing dishes. Or if I'm hosting and I have a bunch of people over and they're walking around with plates and I don't want them to get broken. I don't want glass on the floor. I don't want them going upstairs, downstairs with the plates. Um, or I don't have enough plates per people. So on the rare occasion that I do want to use a cute aesthetic paper plate, I will allow myself to do that. And I had to because these are so cute. Sometimes I'll even just like set up little place settings with something like this and then not actually use them and just like reuse them. It, it needed to be done. It needed to be done. Oh, I also wanna show you the phone case I got. They had like quite a few cute phone cases. Yes, I still put pop sockets on my phone. I need to, it hurts my, my hands and my fingers and my wrists to hold my phone without one. Ah! 
Like, I'm already dropping stuff enough as it is. Your girl still needs a pop socket and I don't care. I don't care how millennial that is of me, okay? You wanna clock me as a millennial because of my pop socket? Some of us don't have the hand strength and the pink strength. And there's no shame in my game. Anyway, also, <laughs> This is just stuff I've heard other people saying. I genuinely do not think that or care at all whatsoever. Anyway, um, they had like quite a few like cute little phone cases. They had ones, I think it had like pink cowboy boots on it. They had ones with like pink leopard, but this was the one that I liked the best. It just had the little like Powerpuff Girl type hearts. It's clear with the pink and red hearts and it had rhinestones on it. And I very, I almost never see phone cases with rhinestones on it. So I was like, oh, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, and the last thing I got, this was, I had actually gotten on a, a previous trip a while ago, but they do still have them there. And I was like, ooh, I kind of got to include these because it's just so random. But they had um, Sanrio like little stress balls, little squish. These are the only two I have upstairs right now. The cinema roll, which has been well squeezed and the Hello Kitty, which I'm trying to preserve and save for last. Um, and I have the Karomi one downstairs, but I think it came with four. And yeah, it's just cute, good deal. If you like like squishies, or like any kind of fidget toy, you gotta check out Five Below because they have like a whole aisle, like a huge selection of like stress fidget type objects. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's everything for this haul. Thank you for watching. Please keep me and mine in your thoughts and prayers. And yeah, I'm trying, I'm doing what I can and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.